not working at all. Basically ghost winching my whip. I really apologize for having to do a voiceover for this, but the wind was just absolutely horrible, so that didn't work out. Basically what I'd like to show you guys today is how to put on a synthetic winch line and just kind of how I did it. Unfortunately, I tried to be super creative and it did not work out as easily as I thought it would, so you'll get to see that towards the middle of the video. Anyways, I'm tossing this on A because I had it around and B because it is a little bit lighter and just more pliable to use on the trails, so I'm swapping out this steel cable out and gonna go ahead and put the synthetic on. Steel cables are perfectly fine as long as you maintain them and keep them in good shape. Um, there's really only a problem with them once they get frayed and you, you don't keep good maintenance on them. So the synthetic is a little bit better as far as that goes. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this new synthetic line on. And uh, one other thing I note later on in the video is always wear your gloves if you have them. I didn't, I failed to do so. Luckily my cable is still pretty new, but just kind of hindsight, you know, wear gloves when you can. I just need to get a quick allen key, take this off, remove it, and then I'll start the new one on there. I'm going to put tension on it and then re-spool it in there. I'm replacing the steel line with the synthetic line from Oxbeam. I'll put the link below. Great stuff. I think it's 95 feet and it's got, I think it's rated to like 20,000 pounds or something like that. So I have had this sitting around for a little while and it's time to put it on. So we'll get this tossed on and um, put some synthetic on there. It's obviously a lot lighter too than that steel cable, which is pretty cool. It's not your mama's MJ, or if it is, you have a badass mama. Just ran into an issue and actually got super lucky. So this new winch line right here, this was the original bolt that went through. Obviously, this bolt is nowhere near long enough to be able to go through this and thread in. So I ended up finding one of these. Luckily I had some spare bolts running around. It's a 7 16 bolt and it's going to be able to thread in just fine through the backside. So just be cognizant of that before you take everything apart. You might have to get a new bolt because this is a little bit thicker which is nice but just heads up on that. I normally wouldn't even say anything about these cables but this was by far the most pliable and nicest cable I've ever taken off. I've messed with some Smitty Built ones and whatnot, and they were really junky and just stiff, but this one's super nice. I almost feel bad about taking it off. I might keep that around. All right, at this point, once you have everything set up on your winch, you're gonna wanna unspool your line, get you an anchor point, such as a forerunner over there, and then connect this side of the cable to your winch itself. Come on over here. Remember to feed this the correct direction. So mine came over here, came around the back side. Came in there. <laughs> and came over through the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this nut, this bolt on. Just like so. As I mentioned, I replaced it, the original nut go ahead and get that on. Again, this doesn't need to be super tight, don't strip this out or anything, because this is literally just holding it in place. The tension itself is going to keep everything else where it's supposed to be. You never want to winch with less than about four, four strands left on there because then literally all that's holding it on is this little nut. And you need a big nut if you're gonna hold big things on. It does smell like gas, doesn't it? Really bad. I wonder what's going on. I wonder what's going on with that. We're gonna die. I do have a fire extinguisher, so we're good there. All right, so with this spread out, go ahead and set yourself up for success. Plug it in, plug it in like a blade. At this point, what you want to do is go ahead and get about four strands started in it. It's never going to be a free factory, so don't worry about that. All you're trying to do is just get a little bit wound up just to get it started. 
We're gonna keep this tight. Again, gloves. Gloves are key to success in life, people. That's why he's wearing some. Oh. I told Shay to back up about 100 feet, and she did. This is a 95 foot rope. Actually, if I let out a little bit of slack, she would be perfect for this situation. We are in no shit right there. Go ahead and take an angle. Go ahead and take a look at that. I'd say that's pretty spot on. All right, let me move this up just a bit. All right, so at this point, clip onto your target, and I'm gonna preload the line, which just means I'm gonna put some tension on it. Nothing too crazy, just put some tension. Okay, so at this point, all you're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get in the rig, put it in neutral, and ride the brake to keep tension on the line, and wind myself in. I'd actually rather shavy in the rig. Um, this isn't gonna work, because I'm uphill. I'm just gonna roll toward you. I'm gonna try and make this work. I'm gonna try and make this work. moment David thinks he's stronger than a truck. It's not working at all. Basically go switching my whip. <laughs> All right, I screwed this up. My MJ is uphill, so it keeps on rolling downhill towards the forerunner. So I'm gonna put the forerunner in neutral and winch it up to the MJ to keep tension on the line. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Let's try this again. Once you get to the end, you can basically just pull it up from there. At that point, you're good to go and you're done. Now you can go home and fix all the fuel smell that you smell because it's really, really bad. I don't know where I'm leaking fuel, but it smells bad. And uh, go from there. Hope this was helpful. It wasn't the best. Total Jeep noob style. <laughs> Old school like that. But uh, there you go. Got the synthetic winch line on there. It weighed a little bit less. And uh, we'll go from there. Like I said, I just want to get this home at this point because it smells like pure 92 octane gasoline. Um, let's get this home.